Hi, my name is Chris, and I'm not an alcoholic. Um, I'm a medical cannabis patient. I'm also a veteran of PTSD. I'm a college student getting ready to get my degree here in education this fall for Treasure Valley Community College. And also, I'm a Special Olympic gold medal winner. Um, and without my medicine, I, none of this would be possible. Many medically ill or disabled citizens here in my com community of Ontario are often considered to be criminals because um, they are patients of Oregon's medical marijuana program, so are considered outcasts. Many more medically ill or disabled citizens in our com community, they, they, they suffer. Why? Because they fear abstractism from police or they have no dis or friends and family, you know, that they'd be like, oh, can't do that because it's bad. The patients in Malheur County currently, we have no dispensaries, you know, so we have to get everything on the black market. We're, we're considered criminals. You know, dispensaries to facilitate regulations of quality control standards for the medicine, our own medicine, just like a pharmacy where anybody else would go. Currently in our community, the black market circulates marijuana without concern of officials, you know. Yeah, they don't care about the other thing, but when we come in and try getting our medicine, they complain. When why it's going to help, not only is it going to have one place they can regulate and know where we're going to get it and we're safe to go, we're not having to get on the black market. We're not having to traffic. So there it's keeping your, tra your, your offenses down, you know what I mean? <laughs> when when it comes to recreational, you know, it's going to be like, um, everybody's going to have it. So people are going to jump people's yards. They're going to break into people's homes. Boom. That's when your crime rate's going to go up. But how is it going to go up when it's medicine for patients and it's right to one place? You don't have to worry about, I don't know. What if it was one of your family members? What if it was one of your babies or kids just laying there? having a seizure and you know that if you give them a drop of this oil it controls their seizures and it would relax them would you do that or would you let your baby lie there and have seizures because you're so stubborn so hard-headed that your mind's so closed and you can't do it when you know why can't we do that? Why can't we as patients have that opportunity to help ourselves? Our officials are more concerned about keeping the medicine out of the patient's hands. Why? Because it's bad and they watch TV shows where it's used for recreational purposes. So, oh yeah, you're high, oh you're dumb. Why don't they make a movie where it's used for medicinal purposes? A cancer patient, a baby there with seizures somebody having an attack anxiety looking at things flipping out but they take their medication and they're normal just like you would if you take a pain medicine if your back hurts so bad you just you know you take a percocet we take some oil we take some tincture we smoke our medicine and it relaxes just as much as it does you for the same cure. And ours is more natural. Is that the problem? Or are you the kind of person that just wants to get addicted to pills? Which how many people a day are get addicted or overdose because of pharmaceutical medication? But how many people overdose because of smoking medical cannabis? Um, I'm here tonight to address all demographic backgrounds and political spectrums. Prioritizing proper care for our community's sick and disabled is a matter of civil liberty that our community is entitled to, so why not? Give us our medications. That would be like you getting taken off your medications. Would you do that? Or would you say, oh no, I can't because my pain or it won't help this. The same thing with the patients like us. And it's one thing that helps us. So, all I gotta say is remember, what if we were one of your family members? Would you tell us no? Oh, you can't do that. 
knowing that it's helping us just like it helps you. I just say, please, everybody that is supportive, thank you. And people that oppose us, you know, I hope maybe one day you find somebody or see somebody that is in so much pain right in front of you. What are you going to do? Are you going to make them suffer because you're so hard, stubborn? Or are you going to let something take care of them while you run to the bathroom and take a pill? That's all I got to say. It's just think, what if it was one of your family members? Would you help them? Or would you keep them from their medicine? Your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, or your child laying there having a seizure. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you.